Hey everyone, it's your girl Layla. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a Japan haul. So I'm going to be showing you guys all the things that I picked up while in Japan. I'm also going to be doing a taste test if you guys were wondering, because a lot of these are food items, food related items. So I have a full bag dedicated to like souvenirs and makeup and just random stuff. And then I have a full bag of food as well. Okay, so let's get right into it. If you guys are not already subscribed, please go ahead, click that subscribe button below. I upload three times a week, Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday. So let's get right into it. I don't know where to start. I think I'm gonna start off with the food because I feel like food is really interesting. And there's so many like Japanese treats that I got I'm so excited for. I'm also missing a couple items in this haul video because I have a couple of the plushies just in my suitcase downstairs still chilling. I need to wash them with like my laundry and stuff. So I have them still in the suitcase. And I'm really hoping that you guys are enjoying my Japan content. I'm gonna be trying to post a lot of my Japanese vlogs and my Philippines vlogs and all of that stuff in the near future because that's the only content I really have. I uploaded all my content before I left for Japan, everything that was on my memory card. So as of right now, I have like no content. It's a little scary, but it's all like vlogs. Okay, so first thing that I picked up was this. It's milk tea flavored Kit Kats. I am so excited for this, and I know that these are gonna be melty and disgusting. I, they're not melted anymore, they've definitely like firmed up, but I did bring these to the Philippines with me. And I'm glad I did, because I probably wouldn't have been able to find this again if I tried looking for it when I went back to Japan, because I did not see this. I saw a bunch of like different other flavors that they had, but I didn't see this particular one. I've seen this like one time. So I picked it up right then and there. And I don't know if this is like limited edition or anything like that, but that's what it looks like. And yeah, I'm very excited for that. I don't care if they were melted and then reformed. Like it's whatever, it's just chocolate. I just need to eat it in the near future. I got this because I saw this at the airport and I, I've been always a huge fan of Miffy. Miffy was like the first character that I could remember as a kid. Like I had a Miffy book back when I was like a toddler and that's what I remember growing up with. So I was very excited to see this. It just reminded me of my childhood and these are basically just cookies. So there's chocolate ones and then there is I think vanilla. And they're just little biscuits. They are individually wrapped, which is the cutest thing. And this was, I think, the easiest thing to take home. Like, it was the easiest thing because nothing could get squished. These don't melt or anything like that. I was very excited that I was able to find these. All right, so a bunch of the stuff is available at 7-Eleven. So if you are going to Japan and you wanna to try to find any of these snack items, you can probably find these at 7-Eleven for the most part. I'm gonna, I'm like feeling them to see if they're broken because if they are, I'll be really sad. These are Sakura biscuits or Sakura chips, I think. And the packaging is a little bit, been through it okay so I had this in my carry-on but I had a bunch of things on top of this like I had a bunch of like my purses on top of here I purchased a Chanel bag in Ginza which I don't know if that video is gonna be up first but like that bag trumped everything okay it was like on top of all the food <laughs> and that bag is heavy okay so like I think that's probably why this packaging is messed up but yeah these are Sakura flavored chips or biscuits. I don't know. I also got these Mentos and they are chewy Mentos. They are dual flavored and one side is grape and the other side is mint, I believe. This thing is super interesting. So I really love hickory sticks. 
I don't know if they have them in the US, but in Canada we have hickory sticks. We have two flavors available for hickory sticks. We have like the original, which kind of tastes like bacon, and then we have a salt and vinegar flavor. So basically what they are is they're like potato sticks. So they're not chips, they're like little potato sticks. They look like this. And I found 7-Eleven brand. They are butter and soy sauce flavored. Butter and soy sauce flavored. I don't know if this is gonna taste good or if it's gonna taste weird, but I decided to pick it up and you know add it to my taste test. I got some Haribos and this says Happy Spring and they are basically Sakura shaped Haribos. I don't know if they're gonna be like different flavors than the regular gummy bears that Haribo has but these are really cool and I definitely had to pick them up. I got Hello Kitty cookies. This was kind of like a last minute purchase, but I also like shoved this in my luggage too. So the packaging is a little bit messed up, but these are just chocolate chips and they are by Morin Morinaga. I've heard of this brand before and they had a bunch of different flavors. They had a bunch of like Hello Kitty variations different hello kitty characters and stuff like that so i picked these ones because i thought that they were the most appetizing probably the most boring but that's okay and then i have another bag of potato chips in here and these are the calby brand i don't know what flavor these are but i do have a translator on my phone so i'll probably look it up before i start eating any of these things because if you guys know me you know that i don't do seafood anything unless it's sushi i don't eat seafood flavored chips i don't eat crab flavored chips i don't eat those shrimp flavored chips i'm just i just don't like that so i'm hoping that these are just regular flavored they do have a baked potato on the front with like salt so that's what i'm hoping that they taste like and then i got a bunch of like mini Kit Kats and these all melted when I was in the Philippines. I was very, very upset about it. But these are matcha flavored Kit Kats and I bought them because I was wondering if they were different than the green tea flavored Kit Kats we have in Canada. I loved matcha anything when I was in Japan. Like I love the matcha at Starbucks. It tastes different than the matcha we have here. So I got these to try out. And then I also got this banana flavored Kit Kat. It says Tokyo Banana X Kit Kat. So again, melted as well, but they're back to being solid because Canada's cold. Now moving on to bag number two, which is mostly souvenirs and just random, random stuff that I found that I picked up. Okay, so first thing, is this Hello Kitty in a kimono. And this is a gift for my mom. And this is from Family Mart. We had a Family Mart in the last hotel that we stayed at. The first hotel we stayed at didn't have any, like any type of convenience stores. It had a really overpriced vending machine. And then like one restaurant that was like really expensive for like a buffet, right? And then the second hotel we stayed at had like two restaurants and it had a 24 hour convenience store, which was really nice. And so yeah, this was one of the items that she found at the convenience store, super cute. As you guys know, I love Hello Kitty anything. And Japan was full of Hello Kitty stuff. I just don't think I really bought a lot personally. So I got a bunch of these postcards from Nara. I plan to keep two of them and I plan to give one to my coworker because she really just, this is all she wanted, okay? She asked me for a postcard and then to write her a note from when I was at like anywhere in Japan. But I went to Nara and I picked up a bunch of deer ones because if you know anything about Nara, you know that there is tons of deer and they're so friendly and they're so cute. So I picked up a few deer postcards. And then I got this, which is a Totoro puzzle. I think that this lights up, but I'm not 100% sure. It's called a crystal puzzle and it is 42 pieces. It's Totoro, I love Totoro. It's one of my favorite movies. So I had to get this. So next up, I picked up a few of these souvenirs i don't know where the other one went to but i basically got one for my two friends and i got one for myself 
and I got the Akaya, the Akaya one for myself. So that's what these look like. They're, I think that these were 800 yen. So they were like, oh wait, there's a price tag on here, 1200 yen. So these were like $12 a piece. And so that they are these little dolls right here and they're just so cute. I think that they're actually keychains, but they're called the Kimmy doll and there's a ton of them. There's a lot of like different colors and I basically picked out two for each of my friends and then one for me and the ones that I picked for my friends, I kind of based on like when I picked it up, I thought of someone and I was like, oh, this is good for this person. Oh, this is good for this person. So I got a bunch of these. I really think that these are really great souvenirs, especially if you are headed to Japan. So they all have different meanings. This one is called Maki and it means dignified. This one is called Akaya, which means adorable. And then, yeah, like I said, there's probably another one in here as well. I got these eye drops. If you guys know anything about me, I used to be a huge fan of Roto eye drops. I found them on YouTube ages ago, back in like 2010 maybe, or 2009, 2010. There was a lot of like Asian YouTubers that I used to watch, Michelle Phan being one of them, and they had these Roto eye drops. And Roto is actually available in the US, but it's not available in Canada. It's by the brand Mentholatum. If you've heard of that, it's like very similar to Vicks and it's basically like minty eye drops and they have ones that are more stronger i think i used to use the arctic ice one which is like the most strongest one anybody that would ever borrow eye drops from me would like instantly regret it when they put them in their eyes because they would be like what why are you putting these in your eyes but they feel so good after so if you can get over the initial minty feeling they feel amazing so i got the lychee ones so i ended up picking up four of these because they were so cheap they were like 400 yen which is like four dollars and if i was to order these from ebay or anything like that they would be like 20 bucks per bottle so i bought a bunch of those stocked up on those and the lychee ones i will say are less minty than the arctic ice ones okay so i got a bunch of these not a bunch i got two <laughs> I got two of these blotting papers. Again, they were super cheap. I think that these were like 300 yen. And I don't know why I didn't buy more because I probably should have, but I got two packs of oil blotting papers. I was also trying to like not buy a whole lot because you know, I didn't have a ton of room in my luggage. Okay, so this next thing, this was from Nara and i got this because i didn't even use it i didn't even use it I got this so if you guys were wondering what this is it is a hand towel and it has this really adorable nara deer on the front and i just had to have it and it's embroidered and it's so cute so basically whenever you go to the washroom in japan there is not ever anything that you can wipe your hands with there is no like tissue paper there is no paper towel there's nothing of that sort everyone there literally has a hand towel or a handkerchief with them at all times i was wondering about this in the beginning because like everybody seemed to have them in the bathroom every time i would go into a washroom and in, into a public washroom they'd have their own like little handkerchief and i was like what is with all the, okay all of the gift stores had like hand towels and i was like this is so weird and then i finally got it i was like okay this i can take with me all the time and use it in the bathroom stuff which i i totally didn't do that but i think it's cute and i think it's great for like at home in my washroom or whatever and then i got this postcard i got another postcard and it is a deer one as well it's a girl just like hugging a deer which is what I wanted to do, but I was low key a little bit scared of them because the deers here in Canada are very, they're just unpredictable. They're wild animals, right? They could like kick you. They could, I don't know, they could trample you, but the deers there were like really calm and they were like, they would all bow at people whenever we would give them food. So it was just a very interesting place. I, I really, really liked Nara. So this next thing, my mom thought it was a hand towel as well. So she ended up buying me one. 
and it looks like this. This is more of a handkerchief actually than a hand towel. It's not like a towel material, but I will have to like Google translate what this says later on because I honestly have no idea what this is. I don't think it's a handkerchief because it's so big. But it's really cute like it's a really cute little design here i just don't exactly know what it's for <laughs> so there's that okay um i got these like free gifts when i went to one of the stores in nara and i don't know what they are but they do have something written on the back i will definitely need to translate that later i got this key ring from the family mart and it is a sakura blossom with a little bunny really cute it's gonna be look really cute on one of my bags it's like kind of like a bag charm i think and then my mom ended up getting this because she thought it was gonna be a pen okay she thought this was gonna be a pen but this is actually a traditional like japanese brush oh it actually writes i don't think she knows that it actually writes this is not eyeliner or anything like that it writes like eyeliner but this is actually that's actually super cool i should tell her that this is that it actually works but you can basically write with this it's just a pen or a marker or whatever you want to call it it's just like a brush tip applicator though that's really cool so i did get a kimono and i'm so excited about it okay so we were looking at kimonos and a lot of their like traditional kimonos and stuff like that at least at the mall were like 300 dollars. so we weren't gonna spend that much on a kimono but we did find some i haven't actually opened this but i picked you know i picked lavender because look i mean even look at my nails my nails are lavender nails right now so this is silk it's it feels really nice and i thought that this would be really good as kind of like a you know when i'm doing my makeup in the morning or something like that just like a little robe to wear and i think that this is a peacock i'm not exactly sure but there is like a bird on the kimono itself and it does also come with a belt which is nice this silk just feels so nice like it feels like such good quality oh i love this that was like think 30 dollars around there oh this is the other doll that i got this is called masayo and it's true it means true so that's the doll so again another thing from nara i cannot resist this it is a deer coin purse or makeup bag or whatever you want to put in here i don't even know it's just like a small little bag that you can put in your purse basically and it has the deer from nara all over it <laughs> really really cute i just couldn't resist that it was something that it was like an impulse buy okay so i did get some foundation i got the lumi matte foundation by maybelline and it's their super safe foundation i'm currently using a maybelline foundation right now it's in like most of my youtube videos it's literally like a three dollar maybelline fit me foundation so i'm like if i like that i'll probably like this this is twenty dollars which is kind of a lot for a drugstore brand foundation but i'm pretty sure this super stay is only in asia because they only have like three or four shades literally i'm like the middle shade i color matched by putting this on my hand <laughs> they had a tester and i put it on my hand but i was literally like the middle shade there's three shades L uh, like light medium light and then like medium <laughs> So this is SPF 12 PA++++. It is transfer and sweat resistant all day wear, light as air feel, loomy matte look with buildable coverage. So that's that. I really like the lavender packaging. So I decided to try that. What else do I have in here? I have another Nara Deer item. This is a little key ring or charm. I am missing one of my charms. I have one that is a capybara charm that I got at the zoo and it is somewhere in one of my many bags that like I haven't really unpacked fully yet and I couldn't find it for today's video. But I do have another one that's a capybara 
And then the last couple things. So I did get a brow gel because I was out of brow gel and I randomly found this at one of the convenience stores that we passed. And I was like, you know what, I'll try it. I, I don't even know. It just says Slim Eyebrow Color Mascara and it's in the color C2 by the brand Suzanne. Suzanne, I don't know how to say that, but I'm hoping that this is good. I lost the one that I had, so I had to replace it. So the last couple things are from a souvenir shop in Shibuya. I think the name of the store is called OBS, like O-B apostrophe S. I think that's what the label says. And this is where I got the kimono too. Wow, there is so many things in here. So I got a sticker for my car. My car is having issues right now. Like it hadn't been started in three weeks, now it's having issues. So I don't know if I really wanna put this on my car or I can wait till I got a new car, I don't even know. But I got this sticker and it is the famous wave sticker or like the famous wave design. It's on a lot of clothing that I have actually from Shein, which they totally, you know, took that wave from somewhere. I got this Kiki's delivery service keychain. Perfect for me. I love my animes. I love my Gilby movies. And I got this Totoro one, which, you know, I had to get. <laughs> this is so cute. So it's Totoro and it has those dust bunnies on it as well. I think this is more of like a purse charm or something like that. We'll see where that ends up. I got a pin and this is also the cat from Kiki's delivery service. I got most of this stuff for myself. I'm not even going to lie. This one is for my friend though. I got her, we, we like, like to get each other cute pens and there's sometimes like the most random pens ever, but this is basically a sushi pen, a sushi on some chopsticks. And I thought that this was so cute. So I had to get that for her. And then I got this keychain that says Japan. I don't know, I don't remember who I got this for, but it's cute and it says Japan. And then I got this other carabiner keychain. I don't remember getting this. <laughs> I remember my bill that day, like when I got to the till being really high and half of the stuff, like I don't even remember buying. Now that I'm like opening the bag for the first time, I'm like, wait, I don't remember buying this, but anyways, it is a carabiner keychain. Looks like that. I can give this to whoever, I guess. And then last but not least, I got a Totoro, again, a hand towel. It's a hand towel that I didn't use when I was there, but I thought it was really cute. I like had to get this. It's like all of my favorite colors in a hand towel with the Totoro. So that is all for the stuff I got from Japan. I did a video unboxing the bag that I purchased from Brandoff. If you guys wanna check that out, it's either gonna be coming up next or I've already posted it, I'm not sure. But yeah, that is all that I picked up for the most part of stuff that I got in Japan. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you are not already subscribed, please go ahead, click that subscribe button below. I upload three times a week, Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday, and I will see you guys soon with a new video. Bye. I'll let you neighbor.